Exercise 77, three types of berimbau. There's three main types of berimbau that are distinguished by the pitch. So how high or low the notes they play. And the function in the capoeira music. The one I've been playing all the time, the one that is the most common, is the major. You can't really distinguish so well just from looking at the stick. What happens is the higher the sound, the stronger the tension on the ahami needs to be, so the thicker generally or at least more resistant the wood has to be. So often the more bend means it's more flexible wood, so it's a lower sound because it's less tension on the wire. So I show you how the three sound. This is a major. If it's tightened, assembled, That's about the sound. Then you have the gunga. That's the deep one. It's a bit lower. Yeah. You hear the difference? And then you have a third one, which is the viola, which is the high one. So major is in the middle, gonga is the low note, and viola is the high note. So from the bottom, gonga. Major. and viola. The three cabasas, this is about the size of a major. The gunga is of course taller, bigger, wider, because with other instruments like a tuba is bigger than a trumpet. If you want to have a deep sound you need a larger resonating body and in that logic the viola is the smallest so you have viola major and gunga now i'm going to put them together start with the gunga as always pre-tighten here and about one distance from the little finger to the thumb. And the last one, the viola.
manager, and Viola.